Have you ever felt a headache so severe that it makes you pace, rock, or feel like you're about to lose your mind? You're not being dramatic. Some headaches are so intense that they're actually called suicide headaches. Let me explain. Yesterday, I shared the story of a 36-year-old man who developed an explosive stabbing pain behind one eye, and it would happen at the same time every single year. These short bursts of pain last minutes to hours, and it would cycle for weeks on end, and then it would just go away. So today I'm going to walk you through what this pattern is, how we diagnosed him, and how we treat it. Because there's probably some of you out there that's experienced this. Cluster headaches are one of the most severe pain conditions in all of neurology. They're not migraines. They're not tension headaches. They're sudden, sharp, one-sided attacks that typically center behind the eye. Patients describe them as a knife in my eye or an ice pick drilling into my skull or the pain is so bad I can't sit still. And here's what makes them unique, the pattern. Cluster headaches come in clusters, multiple attacks per day over weeks to months, and then they disappear for a while. So who gets them? They're relatively rare with about one in every 1,000 people affected. They're more common in men than women, and they often start between the ages of 20 and 40. And interestingly, they often have a seasonal pattern. And fun fact is I have had a history of cluster headaches in the past. Many patients flare during the fall and winter months when the daylight changes and the signals shift in the brain's biological clock. So doctor, why would it hit harder in the winter? I'm gonna explain it to you in the simplest way possible. It all comes down to your brain's internal clock. Deep inside your brain is the hypothalamus. It's that area that controls your sleep cycle, your hormones, and your day to night rhythm. It basically acts like your body's master timer. In winter, the days get shorter and we often get a lot less sunlight. And those rapid changes, the darker mornings, the earlier sunsets, it throws off this internal timer in your brain. And when the hypothalamus gets out of sync, it can accidentally activate pain pathways, especially something called the trigeminal nerve Nerve, which is a nerve involved in that stabbing behind the eye pain. So instead of thinking of cluster headaches as random headaches, think of them as a painful alarm clock, one that goes off when your brain's timing is disrupted. And that's why so many people notice that their attacks happen not just at the same time every day, but at the same time every year. Winter becomes a predictable flare season because your internal clock is shifting with a change in the light. The bottom line is it's not psychological, it's not stress, it's your brain responding to seasonal changes in a very real, very neurological way. And there are other things that can cause cluster headaches, not just the changes in the season and the daylight. The number one thing is alcohol. Even one drink during a cluster cycle can trigger an attack within minutes. Number two is anything that disrupts your sleep, like jet lag, staying up too late, or shift work, like many of us in healthcare do. Strong scents like gasoline or perfume can also fire up that trigeminal nerve and other things like high altitude, heat, and even intense exercise can do it too. And yes, genetics and smoking also play a role. Cluster headaches are diagnosed clinically, meaning the story tells us everything. We look for sudden severe one-sided eye pain, tearing redness or nasal congestion on one side, restlessness during these attacks, multiple attacks per day, and a pattern that repeats itself at certain times a year. Imaging is done like an MRI to help rule out structural causes like a brain tumor or a stroke. But in cases like our patient, the pattern is the biggest clue. So how do we treat these? Cluster headaches can be treated, but they need the right medications because normal migraine treatments just simply don't work. So here's how we treat them. Number one is abortive agent. So that means stopping the attack fast, usually high flow oxygen at 10 to 15 liters a minute. And that's something that we can even prescribe at home. Triptans, especially sumatriptan injections or nasal sprays, these can break the attack within minutes. And preventative treatments are also important to stop that cycle. Verapamil is the first line preventative and steroids like a little short course to break the cluster can also be utilized. And there's other FDA approved cluster headache preventative medicines. And another thing that's more interventional that we can do is something called occipital nerve blocks. And there's even some advanced options for chronic or refractory cases. And I'm not talking about medicine here. There are neuromodulation devices, deep brain stimulation. Yeah, that's pretty rare, but it can be used as a last resort. And the key is early recognition and early treatment because 
Delaying the care is prolonging the suffering. So doctor, what happened with our patient? When we talked to him, the diagnosis was pretty clear. His history, the timing, the seasonality, the restlessness, it all pointed to cluster headaches. So we started him on high flow oxygen for acute attacks and it changed his life. We also put him on a preventative regimen tailored to his cycle. And by the end of the season, his episodes have dramatically decreased. So for the first time in years, he was able to make it through December without fear of these headaches. Another case of patient focused and compassionate care. Stay tuned next week and I'll go through another case.